Hi guys, how are you doing today? Uh, today, on my messy desk. <laughs> yes, it's a mess. It was clean. It was cleaner the first time I did this, but then I, um, for some reason that I don't understand, deleted the video. So this is what I'm making today. is a fabric napkin cover. And, I mean, sometimes you will get these little white bits, but that just adds to the grunginess. I don't know. And then mine's wrinkled, but I'm okay with that. It still feels cool. It's got about six layers of napkin, one layer of fabric, and this was Osnaberg. And all this red here is from this napkin. And this napkin took over the whole thing. I'm so glad that I did not use... The whole thing of this napkin because you just hardly can even see it there and I just oh, but I'm gonna, I still want to use this napkin though because I just want to but I want to like deep in the background so it's gonna be my very first layer and have all the layers on top uh, this layer under here is the fourth thir third layer so if I put it back two more layers, and this is only the second layer under. So I actually put it in there twice, so that didn't help. So I'm going to put it way, way back on the very first layer and see what happens. And you can see a couple leaves here and there that I had stuck on there. But yeah, it's uh, so it's like a soft cover. Feels really cool. I already said this was an Osnaberg fabric. It's that it's like a little bit thicker muslin with the little brown specks in it. Perfect for like a coffee journal because it looks like coffee grounds, right? So I'm going to lay down some, some cling wrap, which I think this is the one I use. I don't know which one this is, but it is almost gone, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Come on. Where's the, it clings so well that it clings to itself and you can't find the edge. Oh my word. All right, found the edge. And I'm, I'm cleaning it to my surface here because I figure that might be the best way to do it. To be able to get it. And then I'll just use my scissors. There we go. I didn't do this last time, but, which was fine because it washes off of my glass easily. But then I was like, oh, well now where do I put it? to let it dry so I'm thinking ahead this time at least now I'll have this to let it dry now all your layers of your napkin have to be just the one layer even if you use all the layers from one napkin you still do one layer of a napkin or one ply like this napkin is three ply so it's got this and then it's got a middle layer and this bottom layer and washi tapes not the best like a piece of masking tape might be a little bit better but you just kind of stick it on there and then you can pull off your one layer and if you do it on the corner you might get a more smooth this one just i don't remember having this much problem with this particular napkin <laughs> anyway this is giving me fits isn't it and then you can do it then you have your second layer see there's another layer under there I'm just not even going to bother with these two layers. They don't want to come off easily. There. That one did. Huh. Much better. I'm not going to bother separating those two layers though because I have plenty of napkin backs to work with. And this one I actually like to use as like my fourth layer and I just do it as one whole piece and then I know I have that. You'll see that. Um, I'm going to do like the first layer or two and then I'm going to uh, speed it up and then when I get to the last two layers, I'll slow down again. So I'm starting with this layer. Alright, oh and then for cutting it, I cut it probably, let's see, this is the size of my journal pages. So I've got it a good three quarters of an inch to an inch on the top and bottom and a little further on the edges probably more like an inch and a half doesn't have to be that much bigger uh, you just want to have some room to be able to cut it down and get it nice and straight edges so I thought these two went nice together so this will go in here 
And apparently I've decided to do single signature. <laughs> Some of them anyway, single signature. Okay, so this is the inside of our journal. And then this will be the front. So we're turning this piece upside down like this and then make sure we have it right side up. This is gonna all get cut off down here, this um, salvage edge. So I'm not too worried about that, that salvage edge. So then the next thing we need is Mod Podge and water, something to stir it with, and an old brush you don't care about. <laughs> Um, yeah, this one's been used a few times. I, I don't usually like to clean out my brushes afterwards. So, you know. Now, when Gail does it, she does like a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, like one part Mod Podge, one part water. My Mod Podge is fairly thin, I think, compared to some others. So, I'm doing kind of a, a two-to-one. My husband's bringing out the trash cans. He knows I'm recording. He's working from home today. Yay! Sounded like a horse just then. <laughs> Yay! He's working from home. Such fun, such fun. All right, so like, I go. It goes up to there. So about halfway would be like to the middle of that circle. Oh, that's what's nice about having things on the side of here. Or to the top of that circle. That still looks like almost almost a two to one ratio. All right, stir it up. Stir it up. Now it's gonna be like really thin. It's gonna be like milk, or uh, maybe powdered milk. I don't know. We don't know what powdered milk. Well, we have it because they have it at the um, the food pantry where my husband volunteers, and so he brings some home sometimes. But I know his mother's tried it. She says if you put it, make it, and put it in the fridge overnight, it's not too bad. So we have our watered down gesso. We have our fabric. You know the fabric part of the fabric napkin journal cover. And um, Gail has done this at least a couple times, I think. So if you want Gail Gustinelli, so if you want to check out, do a little search for her and find that you can just look up uh, you can search gail gustinelli um na fabric napkin cover i believe is what it is so that first layer came off easily this next one needs a little help so i use my handy dandy tape now i'm gonna decide see if this is big enough to just do one full layer gonna be long enough and yeah. I know it's square I don't know why I'm turning it no, I'm gonna go ahead and rip it rip it down a little bit that way it's not gonna be right, just rip and I do know already what's gonna happen is the other side of this is gonna get this red through it but I know it so I know I know what to expect and if I know it, then I won't be so upset when it happens. It really doesn't matter. Nothing maybe really matters. Do, 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 do. There. And then I'll put a piece in the middle to make sure it gets completely covered. Alright, you ready? It's a mess. This is why. Just know just know. This is not the, the cleanest, neatest project in the world to do. So you just kind of, you soak your fabric here. Um, I just realized this is probably gonna show through. All right, I'm gonna put a white layer first, just to be on the safe side. I mean, it's still gonna go through, I know it is, but oh well. We'll see, it, it'll be what it'll be. I'm taking chances, getting messy. I'm doing what Miss Frizzle says to do. I'm doing it, Miss Frizzle. I'm taking chances. I'm getting messy. Just for you, Miss Frizzle. I mean, I'm not learning sciencey things. Although some things could be considered sciencey here, maybe, like, you know, the glue drying and mixing and doing things and I don't know. Just making up things now, aren't I? You can do big pieces, little pieces, 
whatever you want because nothing really matters. <laughs> I'll do both. I'll do some big pieces, some smaller pieces. Then I'll do that one napkin that I do all the way across. Just because then I know I haven't missed any spaces. I know you probably can't see way down in the corner, but it, it looks like up here where I'm just putting down really wet sloppy glue. I did make sure to change my shirt because I went out this morning and so that meant I had a decent, a, a shirt with no paint on it is what I had on earlier. I mean, it goes faster if you use bigger pieces, obviously. Depends. If you want a lot of texture, you might want to use bigger pieces or just have little pieces of um, paper get in there. I guess that could work too. That's what just happened. I had a little piece of scrap, little corner piece in there. But you know, this is kind of relaxing. I'm just kind of gluing stuff on here. I think I do like it better when I use like a thicker fabric, like a, like a, a um, a, oh man. also sometimes it'll rip right off like that. Just, just consider that to be texture. And moving on. Probably because I either, I don't know if it's because I use too much or not enough or just my bristles are not, ten, they're not tender bristles. That's probably why. Yes, I'm taking a chance with this. I bought these. I'm determined to use them even if they turn everything pink. Whew, they're not the prettiest smelling ones either. I think these are the ones that I didn't notice that yesterday, but I'm definitely noticing it today. That suddenly when I put water on these napkins, there's a different smell. Oh, I don't know. I was putting them as an extra. Oh, Heather, you might have got one of these as an extra too. When you got your fall napkins. So just so you know, I remembered to warn, I remembered to warn Robin, but I did not remember to warn Heather. Although she's beginning of the school year, so she's not going to have a lot of time for crafting anyway. But I think if I just do the one layer of these instead of having that double layer like I had before, that hopefully... It won't take over like it did on the other one. Fingers crossed, people. Fingers crossed. So I'm recording this today. And then tomorrow, I will record the second part with the, um, I think this is two layers. Okay, so like this is two layers of backing. And I need to split it make sure that I'm only putting one layer at a time on here. I know I like to do my corners. All right. Let's spread this out here. And this is a good place to put napkins you don't care for <laughs> very much or something like that. Right now I'm using the backs of napkins for this for this layer because I have so many and it will help to push hopefully fingers crossed help to push this uh, need to have one layer at a time I knew that although if these are fairly thin it might be all right see look it's already getting pink on these napkins from the plaid napkin Ooh, look at that it's like spilling milk don't cry over spilled milk all right uh, I think part of the reason that I get those white spots is because I don't get it down all the way maybe like let's see if it's lifting because I'm noticing some spots now that I've had that other one dry and had those white spots although I don't mind those white spots as long as they don't peel off I'm good and you just kind of want to try to make sure you have at least six layers if you have seven layers in some spots because you've overlapped that's okay that is that's okay that's all right 
to be oh, that one has that's from that that's got the red on it from the other one I don't want that one this one's all right I see butterflies oops just dripping just making a mess I'm going over my edges. I don't know why, because I have plenty of leeway. I don't have to go all the way over my edges, and I'd still be fine. But they cut off pretty easily, whether you have, like, a... Well, actually, you could even... I've been able to cut them with scissors. And um, my rotary cutter that I cut paper with. Yeah, I would not use my fabric scissors, though, because... Um, the napkin's not fabric and you've got all that glue in there so I use regular scissors or my paper rotary cutter for all that all right so this was my first three layers I was gonna fast forward the couple layers but I don't know that this seems to be going faster than the other day I don't know maybe I'll just or I wasn't feeling as chatty the other day who knows who knows about me and I'm not always putting it underneath because it's still wet from that last layer. So that's that's why if you're wondering why I'm not putting things, putting the wet stuff underneath, it's because it's already there. Just in case you were wondering. All right, so this was pretty much my first three layers of, um, I guess we're all right. First three layers, and now we're going to start going to our next three layers so I want to think about things like all right um, this um, this will be my next layer because it's just a nice neutrally color blue that I like if it shows through kind of going lifting it and going from the middle and pushing it out carefully but if it rips it's not the end of the world so that should help push that back that black that black that plaid as well as those white layers I just this is a I don't know what color blue this is it's just a really neutral to me it seems to go with everything of course I would consider a lot of these kinds of blues like navy blue and this almost sea glass to be neutral goes with pretty much everything because it's got a little bit of green in it which means it's got a little bit of yellow in it all right now i'm gonna put this is um a napkin i've got that's just like a wood wood wall and that'll be nice for having in some spots um and you'll probably notice that i focus on my corners first that's probably the most important part to make sure you get all the layers on I guess because that's going to get the most wear and tear on a journal so if that one gets a little bit more layers on it it's not going to hurt it Ooh, just slapping it down So I'm going lighter with these top layers after learning my lesson last time. And um let's see, what was that one? I, don't know. I think I want to use parts of it. I don't know if I want to use the chicken. It won't hurt to use the chicken, but it's got some nice oranges and blues on here. So he'll go on the top layer. I got one more. Oh, here we go. I've got these feathers. This is actually the second layer of the feathers and um i thought that would be a fun layer to incorporate because i could use the top layer too it's just a little dark and shiny i'm not always a shiny loving person sometimes it depends but this has got the colors our fall colors that we want Well, that I want. I don't know what you guys want. I want, <laughs> I want some fall inspiration happening here. All right. I thought I'd have enough of the glue because I had extra yesterday. So I thought, well, if I do a little bit less than yesterday, 
then I should definitely have enough. Maybe I'm using more today? Who knows? Alright. Let's just use up this whole napkin here, right? Ooh, look at that nice oh you can't see it. It's a nice big it's a nice big feather right there. But you can't see it because you're out of am I running out? Yep, I am. I'm running out. Alright. Look at that. Ran out. That did not I don't know. Maybe it's drier today. Alright, put a little bit of that. Don't have much in there. Add a little bit of water. And hope for the best. Mix it up. Have soupy. Not even soupy. It's not thick enough to be considered soupy. Alright, I'm loving how these feathers are are coming out on here. Giving me that background that I want. Almost like falling leaves, kind of, sort of. See, if I fast forwarded it, you would miss out on all this clever banter. <coughs> I just, of course I just. All right, let's see. So that was one, two, three, four, five. So here's our, our last layer, possibly our last layer, if we want it to be our last layer. And I really, I know I don't have like pink going on in my, so there's some pink in this, but that's all right. We'll consider it a light red because we do have red, definitely have red. And I know some people were excited that there were some kits out there for fall that had pink. That's all right. You can still be all excited about that. Use all the pink you want. Some of us. I mean, I like pink sometimes. It's just a lot of it out there in the world. That's all. All right. And squirrels. There's. You can never have too many squirrels though, right? So, this time my squirrels might actually show. I'm just trying to rip out some squirrels without losing major body parts here. Here we go. I'm going to come up a little bit because I know that some of that's going to get cut off. And I don't really want to cut off their feet. Although I definitely don't want to cut off their heads. I am not the queen of hearts. Am I running out of this already? Definitely underestimated my glue for today. I don't know if it's just drier. I don't know. But my glue is definitely being affected. Whoops. Because. All right, now we have some squirrels. Okay, one of my squirrels is upside down. I don't want my squirrel upside down. You just kind of, you can pull it apart with your fingers. Just kind of do the best you can to get what you want off of there. Knowing that you don't always get what you want. But you get what you need. So, my Podge. A little bit of water. More water than I probably needed. But maybe that's what I need for this last layer to make sure I don't have... Those white spots is bad. I don't know. Maybe that's why I had the white spots. I'm probably going to end up cutting off his nose. And I'm going to feel so bad. All right. I'll cover it with a medallion. All right. So we have some beautiful orange flowers. Some purples. Some squirrels. Anything else that we want on here? I don't want the whole chicken. But I really like. Let's see. All right. Definitely like this bit right here. Even though it means I'm going to lose part of my chicken's tail. This part right here I like. But I haven't separated yet. So I have to make sure I get down. Alright, there's one. It should be three layers up. Because it's, um, is it, is it a Michael one? Who makes this one, does it say? Yep, it's a Michael or Michelle. M-I-C-H-E-L. That one we are allowed to use. I 
just oh, I need to go lower it only because I'm going to be cutting off a good inch or so up there probably and the whole point of this is that I want it to be somewhere here hmm. oh here we go definitely not going anywhere if I put it there is it except for maybe dissolving in my hands because I've been holding on to it so long what else do we have from this napkin? We have these beautiful flowers down here. Just one layer. I'm just taking off the layers on this. I'll try to. Okay, there goes my tape. Yeah, I usually can't use the tape more than once. Twice if you're lucky. Like if you use one end and then you use the other end. As long as you didn't have like grit on your fingers. Should be able to use both ends. Alright. So, I like these flowers here. I know I'm right up in your face. I like these little orange. Yeah, I'm just basically going to cut that chicken out. Got plenty of those chickens. All right, and maybe right here with it. Ooh, that's wet. And grab another one of these blue things that I like so well. Kind of wish I had a napkin. Oh. <laughs> I say I kind of wish I had a nap. Oh, hold on. I'll show you what I kind of wish. And then I'll show you how I can make it happen. So, there's all my layers. And I'm thinking of making a layer. Hold on. Except I don't have any space. I need, I need a hard cover of some sort. Okay. Because I'm going to take this napkin. I'm over to the side here. Don't mind me. And I'm going to grab my script stamp. That's word. It's not script. Where's my script stamp? Yeah, there it is. And I'm going to grab a permanent ink. But I don't want it too dark. So I'm grabbing my um, archival watering can. And I know I should let it dry before I go putting glue on it, but since I didn't think ahead, then that's just not going to happen. <laughs> Plus, it's on napkin. It should dry fairly quickly, right? So now I have some writing to just kind of layer. So anywhere where I think I might not have got it thick enough, which is always possible like in the middle and stuff, like right here. I think is a good place for it because it'll push back a squirrel or two but there we go oh it was right next to the other writing I wasn't thinking all right <laughs> it's all right it's all right so cut out some more of this some writing here and maybe come up in this corner put some writing up here And he should still show through there and so I've got it here and here in the middle and I think I want to put some more up in this corner there we go that should be good so if you like to have script just use one of your napkin backings and some permanent ink archival or stays on whatever you have that's permanent and you can add your little um, script to your cover so yeah bonus tip don't you love when there's a bonus tip all right now this let's see I have a little bit more here let me just make sure it's all down good and maybe I will have less we'll see if this works to have less of those white spots or not and 
And, oh, also another tip that I had in my last video that I almost forgot to tell you here is do not pour your glue down the sink. If you have, like, enough glue that you don't have enough to, like, save it, but you don't have enough to, like, yeah. But it's too much to, you know, no, you don't want to clog up your sink. Let's just put it that way. All right. So, yeah, definitely got some red in there. I'm all right with that. A lot of glue there. I think, yeah, it should still come off that plastic no matter how gooey it gets. It's going to become um, almost plasticized on the other side. Because that's how the, um, what is it? Here. Because that's what Mod Podge does. So it's a little bit shiny on the inside. And you can see a little bit of the wrinkles. But it's still cool. I'm going to stamp some leaves in there. Yeah, but I'm hoping by adding that a little bit more of that liquid that we don't get as much of that white. But maybe we still will. So, I will be back with this tomorrow to show you dry. Show you how I cut it up. And probably bind it too, because that's what I did with the last one. I did all the things. So, it'll be just a second for you. It'll be a day for me. Let's hope I don't delete this one. All right, because the napkin ran so much, I changed this, my, what I'm going to use. I was going to use this, but now this, this, anything that was reddish orange looks more red now. So I think I'm going to switch to this one because it has a little more red in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know that. I'm aware. But yeah, I just, okay. They're all the same size, so size-wise, that doesn't matter as much. And yes, even though I put the napkin way in the back, that plaid, it just takes it over. And you don't see it till it dries. I mean, I can see the squirrels a little bit here in this flower. These flowers, I don't want to cut those off at all. So anything I cut off is going to be at the top more than anything. So let me start by getting a nice straight edge. And I'm just using my rotary cutter. And I had my fabric at one point nice and straight. So I'm just going to line up my bottom anyway. Because my bottom. Alright. And then. Just want to make sure that I give myself. Some room on the edge here. Hmm. I might go ahead and. I need a straight. So if I fold it I can do. A little bit straight on the bottom here, I think. And there we go. So now I have a straight edge on the bottom. And I can figure this out. So I just want to make sure I have some space on the side there. Any, any of that coming off? You gotta press really, really hard. There's a lot of layers there and a lot of glue. Alright, and then... So this way, I know it's all super, super precise measuring. She says very sarcastically, because... If you're not, if you're new to my channel, you might not know. But if you're not new, you know. I do not do precise measuring. All right. So now that should work. And I think for my corners. Let's let me find my empty box. Not my empty box. I have new boxes of these. But do you think? They're there, oh, they're right here in front of my face. That's where they are. Because I don't want to use these silvery ones. I want to use probably these ones. Or these. One of those. One of those. One of those not silvery ones. So you get enough for three journals. And one of these packs. And I just wait for them to go on sale. Because I do have other book corners that I have gotten 
on Amazon for cheaper. But some of those you have to know this like you have it you can't adjust this it wouldn't work for anything this thin also i'm considering sewing around this what do you think i don't usually sew around them i don't know if my sewing machine can handle it actually so the salvage edge shows on here and i'm fine with that and i probably could go in a little bit here it's just Kind of a, but if I have my leaves sticking out like I do in the other one, but I might not. I don't know. Part of me wants to try to sew this. Do I dare? Should we dare? I don't know. Alright, it did. It worked. I sewed it. I didn't make you watch that though. Otherwise it would get like really, really long. So let's go ahead and put our corners on. Should be able to just oh yeah I usually put a little glue on here don't I let's use some art glitter glue and on this back edge a little bit and then I just bend them over and then I usually would tighten them with um we usually have them here, but do I see them here right now? No. So I'm just going to take the back end of this and press them down because it's kind of flat. And that worked. Haha. -ha. And now I won't have like, sometimes I bend it up a little. Well, that bit got bent up a little bit, but that's why you probably want to start with your back side first. But, you know, make all your mistakes on your back side of your. Of your project you always want to start in the back first I didn't I didn't preach what I I didn't do what I preach but oops there we go okay get that pressed down hope I don't break my glass in the process no, I didn't trim off my... Ow! Stabbing myself. So now we can see how uneven it is back here. That's alright. We'll live. Alright, I feel like I should fast forward through this part. Because this is kind of boring. But I kind of want to finish the process of the cover, too. Quick pause. Then while you were paused, I went ahead and pulled out my stuff to go ahead and put the signature in. Of course, we want to make sure everything's upside right and where we want it. Just like, oh, I just leave that down there. The reason I try to put those up at the top or the bottom is so that they get to, um, they get in there at least twice with their, with the needle, with the signature, that one should go in the middle, that one, ah. I'll put down here, because if I put them in the middle, they're only going to catch the middle hole, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I did not see any of the extra papers I was putting in. And I had those right here, so I wouldn't forget. Let's see. That one should be good. And then stick some of these in here. Do I want any more? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm outside right, yes. And was the mug drive another nope. Up oh, here. Alright, so 
either of those. And I just need to decide if I want to put one of these in here or make it a flip out somewhere. I like that one. So, where do we need a little extra color in here? Maybe? Okay, there we go. I'm not worried about these extra pages sticking out because I might like this to be a little bit straighter. And in there, my goodness gracious. All right, just random, lots of pages. Okay, I'm gonna center that in there and find the center of my signature. I don't like doing this on camera because I always feel like something terrible is gonna happen. Of course, the last time, um, oh, I think I just dropped my needle. See, let's, uh, let that be the most terrible thing that happens. I am, I, I can't see it. <laughs> feeling blind. I didn't find it. I'll find it later. I have, I have a second needle. It's not the end of the world. All right. And because this is one signature, I can get away with not having to make my template and whatnot. So I'm just attaching the book right to the cover and then I kind of go to the opposite end here. As long as I have two on there, I'm pretty good. And then I want, I like, oh, sorry. I like to have my thread ready to go. So this is a, a wax linen thread. It's a little thicker than some of my other ones. But I like it for that reason. It just feels stronger to me sometimes. And it's good for a fall journal, which feels like, a, to borrow one of Joey DeFee's words, a robust journal. <laughs> All right. I guess I didn't need these, but I'm done with this. Make sure I press play. Yes, I believe I did. All right. So, it's going to be super precise and just kind of guess where the middle is. And go straight through. Make sure it's bent in as much as possible so you can go straight out that hole right there. And you pull your thread through, but not all the way. And now go about an inch from the top. Going as straight as I can, right through the spine. And then finding my needle, which good thing is attached to a uh, string because I totally throw it all out there, don't I? And it doesn't matter if you go top to bottom or bottom to top, it doesn't matter. What matters is that when you go back through the middle here, you don't, um, don't go through the thread that's already there or you won't be able to tighten it. And the fact that that pulls when I do that tells me I did it all right. And about an inch from the bottom. Trying to go straight. And also going all the way through. There we go. It's harder than it seems. Or it's as hard as it seems. But it's not as hard as you might be afraid it is. Does that make sense? All right. Now I take these off. Because I don't want a false sense of tightness. And I'm going to go through this string up here with my one that's on my needle. And now I can take my needle off and hope that it doesn't also fall on the floor. And tighten this nicely. And let's see. I'll never remember. But I went through, around the top through the middle. Okay, now I double checked. Make sure that's, I could go a little tighter, but I don't know. Once I tie it, it doesn't always want to go tighter. Okay. And, all right, so now I'm going through the top around the middle. And this probably doesn't matter. It's probably the same way each time I do it. I don't know. I don't think I want to hang anything off of those. But I'll leave them so that I have the option for now. Usually I cut them right off. So there we go. We have a book. We have a journal. And you just saw all the pages because they just went through them. And it's in there nicely. So there we go. Cover number two. Actually, it's cover number three because of the video I deleted. And um, I still need to do this one. But I'm, I might, um, 
I still need to do my splatters on this and then I think I'm going to spray it with a protectant and then I will put my corners on and put my book in just like I did with this one the corners so nothing fancy there so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you all have a delightful day love you bye